hunters and gatherers. Nature belonged to no one and to all. Then suddenly, someone claims nature as his own, and others have to pay him rent. Strange. The big ones take from the small ones. Nobody took anything. Come on, you guys. Stop it. Don't confuse profit with theft. Dad, are we your private property? Of course not. You are my kids. Then why do I have to ask permission for everything? Because I'm your father. That's why. Because I'm big and you're small. When you get bigger, you can do exactly as you please. So it's all a matter of size then? Exactly so. Will we get your house when we get bigger? Yes, my son. Someday this will all be yours. That is called inheritance. And that's how we accumulate. When? When he dies. But what is inheritance? Inheritance means that the property stays in the family. Our family is just like your pink piggy bank, son. That's what families are for, to keep property from leaking out. Is mom your private property? No, mom is mom. So anybody can take her away from you? Can Mr. Watson? No, oh, just let him try. So, she belongs to you because you exclude others from using her? Well, yes, in a way. Then she is your private property. Now listen, girl. You keep running into the same obstacle over and over again. Don't confuse love with property. We cannot measure love. It cannot be valued like property. Why, love is probably the only thing in the world that does not have a price tag attached to it. We cannot buy and sell love. Why, love is the glue that holds us together as family. So, love holds the family together and the family holds the property from leaking out. Nice. That's right. The family, just like money, is built on an act of faith. Both require credit. And credit will allow you to produce and reproduce. Produce? Make objects so we can sell them and buy a house. Never seen you produce any object. Oh, I don't need to. I can buy them. Haven't seen you reproduce either. You're wasting it in the shower. Can I inherit mom when you die? That's so Freudian. Grow up. And what about sharing? Sharing is primitive, honey. Animals share. They live in herds. They have hooves. Do you want to live in a herd? No, we evolved. We rose up on our two feet so we can free our hands to point at objects and say, this is mine. We freed our fingers so we can count. How far could you count if you had hoofs? No, girl. Anatomy is your destiny. Use your hands. Dad, can you help me out with my homework? Sure. Can you finish the dishes for me? Yeah, sure. That's the way. You gotta earn it. Let it circulate. first coined in ancient Rome, did not have the sentimental and domestic meaning we attach to it today. For the Romans, the word family did not even refer to the married pair and their children, but to slaves. Familus means a domestic slave. Familia means the total number of slaves belonging to one man. This was the new Roman social organism, whose head, the father, ruled over wife, kids, and slaves. And thus, Transition into full private property was accomplished parallel with transition to monogamy. The single family became the economic unit of society. Sentimentality and love came only later to seal the deal. Dad, how come I got such money you got for doing your job? Because I'm smarter. Uh, I am not. Actually, it's a time of production. It takes more time to become a teacher than to become a dishwasher, you see? It takes more time to produce an adult than a seven-year-old kid. Time is money. How can time be money? If this cup took half the time it took to manufacture this plate, this would mean that one plate is worth twice as much as one cup. So, time is a way to calculate an object's value? Indeed. It's all a matter of age. Oh! That was definitely the sound of one plate, not two cups. Think of it this way. Just as every specific sound has a very specific object it's attached to, so will an object always have its own unique value attached to it. That is the price tag, a red tongue that speaks its value. I prefer silence. Baby, a breaking sound is what makes us feel pain once an object has been destroyed. Without it, all is worthless. Without it, you're in a slapstick comedy. And sound 
and you turn that comedy into a tragedy of wild consumption and waste. Add sound, and you add value. Kids are silent. Exactly, boy. People who have something to hide are silent. Thieves are silent. And we are not thieves, are we, boy? No. Always regard silent as suspicious. Kadima. Yeah. Hi, Annie. Yeah. How are we doing? Everything is all right. Boshev. Is your sister doing her homework? Yeah, Mom. Is Daddy helping her? Yeah. Did Daddy ever talk with you? Yes. It's so cool and private property and thieves. He's so cute when he says private property. Say private property. Uh-uh. Please? Uh-uh. I'll pay you. Private property. Again. Yeah. Private property. Again. No, listen, boy. You better get it out or I will ask that to ground you as well. For a whole week. Got it? Now put your dad on. Yes? Honey, I hear things are not going so well. Still have that obsession for stealing? Oh, don't worry. Just a little bump on the road. How is Miss Watson doing? We are just fine. Shopping. Strangely enough, I feel quite at home here. So you're not coming back? Is that a question or a wish? So, when do you plan to come back? I won't be too long, don't worry. See you soon. Bye. So dear, where were we? So, where were we? Family is an economic unit. Love is sticky. We feel home just about everywhere. Objects talk, thieves are silent. Private property is cute, but the law that protects it was first erected to protect the first act of stealing. Objects talk, but the law, like a thief, is silent. Objects talk, but they don't say all they know. They keep some secrets for themselves. A good movie is always open-ended, like a call to the future or a sequel. We have decided to end with a call to the future. Children of the world, unite. Release the future from the shackles of the past. My peers, it is our time to steal. Not in order to gain property, but in order to lose respect for it. Property is like a ghost. You cannot possess it without being possessed by it. Steal and let others steal. Let property move freely from place to place so it will not haunt your home. Steal from the local supermarket. Steal from the city. Steal from the state. Steal from your parents. And above all, don't accept inheritance. Steal it. Rob your parents and rid yourself of promises you will have to keep. Children of the world, unite. Release the future from the shackles of the past.